All right, this is also something I've been looking forward to because New Year means a new manga wish list. Yeah. Hello, everyone. This is my name is Adarius, and welcome to What Am I Gonna Buy of Manga in 2022? Now, before we get into that, I think it's important that we first take a look at my 2021 list just to see how well we fared. And in case you're wondering, this is my 2021 list. This is how it looked initially, and then after 2021 wrapped up, I have bought and completed this. So, as you can see, I didn't completely finish my Soul Eater goal, but that was mostly because the fifth volume got postponed, so that was out of my hands. Then you have Blam. I didn't finish that one either, but that's just more me because I didn't do it. I'm still missing three. Then you have Fire Punch. I did not complete anything related to Fire Punch at all. I did not even start, so... So, yeah. And then we have Jaco the Galactic Policeman, a patrolman. I can't remember. I can never remember. I didn't manage to get that, but that's mostly because every time I looked at the book depository, it was out of stock. So, yeah. I did my best, but I couldn't. Then we have Inuyashiki. I'm missing the 10th volume, but I did not complete it. Our plan to actually get all of it in 2021 only, <laughs> only managed to complete the first nine volumes. So, I'm missing one. And then finally, we have Villain Saga. My goal was to get all 12 volumes. I did not manage to get the 12th one. I said in an earlier video, it got cancelled for some reason. I was refunded, of course, but so that's that. So I completed most of my list, and I do think that this is actually a success. So to then move forward, we're gonna have to make a 2022 list. So uh, how about we do that? So first of all, we're gonna take everything we didn't get in 2021 and put it on my 2022 list, just to get that out of the way. Then we also quickly gonna run through all the series that I'm gonna continue collecting this year. We are talking about Fist of the North Star in this is hardcover edition. I think there will be three or four out this year. I don't know. I am definitely gonna get them. We are talking about Soul Eater the Perfect Edition. Again, it's kind of difficult to figure out how many they're gonna get released this year because the information is all over the place. I think it's four. So I'm gonna get five up until eight, hopefully this year because that is worth collecting. There is of course four volumes of Jojo Part 5 that's gonna get released this year from this. I am definitely gonna get those as well. So that is volume 3 up until volume 7, I think, probably, but I wanna get them. There is Mashal as New Year's series that I just started collecting and I'm just gonna get whatever comes out this year. I think it's four or five volumes. So that will be volume 3 up until volume 7, right? 3, 4, 5, 6, yes, I'm good at math, so of course gonna be oh, six. the 6. The 6 volumes gonna get released this year, maybe there'll be more, I'm not sure. This doesn't go that far into the future in this calendar view, so it only goes to April, but there you have volume 5, I think, released. So it might be more, but I'm gonna get everything that's gonna get out this year of Mashal, of course. Then we also have my deluxe editions behind me. Blade of the Immortal, we're gonna get three volumes this year. That will be volume five up until volume seven. And then next year, we're actually gonna complete it. So that's gonna be awesome. And then of course, also Berserk, we're also gonna get three volumes this year. I was still hoping for four, but nevertheless. So that will be volume 10 up until volume 12. I'm definitely getting those because what I've read so far is bananas good. It just it's insanely good. I love this. This is the shit. This is this is good shit, but this this is the shit. Just just if I Then of course I'm gonna collect the rest of Blame or Blam or whatever how you gotta pronounce it. I'm gonna collect the last three. When throughout the year, I'm not sure. They are expensive, but I should be able to at least, you know, complete that in 2022. I should. <laughs> Then I'm also gonna try to see if I can get more Pokemons. Now, unlike last year when I just want one specific box set, the rest that I am missing is not in box sets. So I'm not gonna get that. But my goal, at least if I just have to put one goal, is to collect Heart Gold and Soul Silver, the two volumes that are there, because they are always out of stock everywhere I look. Every time I look at the book deposit, they're just not there. So I'm gonna try at least to aim for that. Then afterwards, I will take a look into black and white and black two and white two just to get that out of the way. But just to get those two would be amazing. 
because they're always out of print. So that is also a goal. And of course, I will still try to collect Fire Force. I have the first two volumes. There's 25 out, I believe, as of this recording. So that's 23 volumes. If I manage to get all 23, will be hard to tell because just by everything I've talked about right now is expensive, high quality deluxe volumes. Oh yeah, okay. Mashable might not be in that category. But all the other hardcovers, they do cost a pity penny or pretty penny or however you pronounce that. It just costs a lot. So it is limited how much of Fire Force I will be able to collect, but I will definitely, definitely get, let's say the first 10 volumes. Should we just do that? The first 10 volumes? I'm gonna collect the first 10 volumes, at least this year. Might be more, but at least the first 10 volumes. Which leaves me with one final series that I am gonna collect, continue collecting this year, and that is Full Metal Alchemist in the Full Metal Edition. Because this year, and some people actually managed to get it last year or in 15 it's coming out this year but that's the book deposit they're always slow in that department but that's fine but more importantly this year we're gonna get the rest so volume 18 which is the final one in the full metal edition is gonna come out i think in august it might as well also be september but eh, who knows but we're gonna get the rest of it this year so i'm gonna finish it this year which is an awesome thing and now since i've just spent a lot of time transferring Mangas from last year's list to this year's list. Let's talk about the new shit. And before I get into the juicy part, I just want to say that when I collect my 18th volume of the Full Metal Edition, I'm also gonna get this art book of Full Metal Alchemist, which is just just everything, color related, everything art related. For the series, it is in the glorious hardcover. It's the same size, I believe, as my One Piece Compendiums. But I just want to get that to kind of cap off my Full Metal Edition run, which have taken me multiple years. So that is my plan, at least, that to get to get that. I'm not even far off, <laughs> far far enough off to one side. But yeah, I want to get that. So that is the old shit. What is the new shit? And Last year was pretty much just the year of alternative titles, but they're still mainstream. You know, Fist of the North Star, you have Solo Living, Soul Eater, and more of 20th Century Boys, Berserk, and all that. But it's still more Sinin, it's still not Shonen. And I have been missing the Shonen genre for a long time. Because if you have seen my collection video, you will know that I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball, I have that, I'm a huge fan of One Piece, and a decent fan of Naruto at least, and I just, I just miss collecting new shit from the shonen genre. So this year I have dubbed the year of shonen, which means this year I'm gonna get more shonen. And I'm not just gonna get random shonen, I've actually, maybe I have been overestimated my financial capabilities of what I'm gonna get this year, but I've made a list. I'm not just gonna pretend that I remember everything, so I have the list on my phone. So we're just gonna go through it real quickly. So this does end up becoming a half an hour long video like I did last year. So, first off, I am gonna get Dr. Stone. I've already read Dr. Stone at least up until the re most recent chapter, and I'm following along on the this app, or the Manga Plus set. But anyway, I would really much like to actually collect Dr. Stone because it is an awesome series and I love the storytelling, I love the story and the premise in general, and I love the art from Doichi. So I want some Dr. Stone and also the prologue or reboot series, the one single volume that came beforehand. So that is something I plan to collect this year. Then we also have Jujutsu Kaisen, which I've heard a lot of good shit about. The only problem is it is often out of print, or at least out of stock, because of scalpels, I guess. So it might be tough to collect. Now, Dr. Stone, I want to collect everything of this year. Jujutsu Kaisen, I just want to collect whenever it is available. I'm gonna start from zero and then work my way up. So I'm not just gonna buy everything that is available. I'm gonna start from zero and then work my way up. I don't know how much I will be able to get of it. Maybe I will be able to get everything that's out. I doubt it, but I'm gonna gun for it if it's possible. 
but I'm gonna try to do the Kaisen. I've only heard positive things about it, but I have not read it yet. Then we have another hyped up series, which is Chainsaw Man. And I just with Jujutsu Kaisen, it will be a bit difficult to get the volumes again. I think it's because of Scalables. I'm not sure. Just as with Jujutsu Kaisen, I'm gonna get whatever I can. So I'm not gonna say a goal of 10 volumes. Not that there's 10 volumes out right now, but there will by the end of the year. I'm just gonna get what I can. Again, I'm gonna go chronologically because that's just how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> There's no reason for it. I'm just respecting myself even more instead of just buying whatever is available. I'm just gonna go that way. I doubt that they will cancel printing these series next year or something like that. So I think I will manage. Famous last words, we can then point to this video in case that is not the case. After that, I'm also trying to get My Hero Academia. Now, I don't think I will be able to get everything of My Hero Academia this year. I doubt it. That's not because it's often sold out. It's just, there's a lot. I think there's 25 or 30 volumes or something. There's, there's just a lot to get. But I'm trying to get how much I ever can. And again, I have read uh, My Hero Academia. I think I started reading it weekly when I got to chapter 15 or 16 or something. So I've been on this bandwagon for a long time. But now I think it's the time for actually putting it into my collection because I actually enjoy it. I think it's a great uh, Sony. And I'm also trying to get the spin-off series, My Hero Vigilantes. Um, there's not as many volumes, but just with My Hero Academia, I'm not gonna try to get everything. I'm just gonna try to get whatever I can. Even if I get one volume, that's that's the start. That takes it off the list. But I'm gonna try to get how much ever I can. But I have heard good things about that story. Then after that, we have Black Clover. Again, <laughs> And easy shonen, um, but I have heard, again, a great story. Just all of these, if I haven't read them, I have a great things about it. But Black Clover should be a fun series to read, should be light shonen, just like how Naruto or Dragon Ball is light shonen, so I thought, might give it a go. It sounds fun, it sounds interesting. I mean, there's nothing more to it. Again, I'm not gonna get everything because there's over 30 volumes right now. But I'm gonna get the most of it. Or half of it. Or at least 10 volumes, let's just go. 10 volumes. And then after that, I'm gonna try my best to actually start collecting One Punch Man. I love One Punch Man. I have read all One Punch Man that is out right now. And I've also read the webcomics. It's just stupidly good. And I love the art. And I love how Morata, he actually does paneling and flows and fights and depict impacts and forces and stuff. Just, I love One Punch Man, so I'm gonna try and get that. Am I gonna get all 23, four volumes that's out right now? Again, not sure. So should we just aim for 10? We're gonna aim for 10. The next series is actually only just released one volume for now, but they're gonna get two or three more this year. I know at least two volumes are gonna come out. And that is Kaiju number eight or Monster number eight or whatever you're gonna call it. Again, I've read it on the, not the Viz app, the Manga Plus app. That's what I have available, at least. You can also actually read all of it for free there. And it's quite good. It's actually quite, quite good, quite interesting, quite fun. And I thought since they're just now starting to release it, this is actually gonna do that. I might as well just follow along while it does that. So when that comes out, it should come out this month, I think, or next month in Book Depository. It's already out in America because they're lucky bastards. But I'm gonna keep up whenever that's released, just as I'm doing with solo leveling, for example. So solo leveling, I didn't even think I've talked about solo leveling actually on my list. I'm just gonna add solo leveling and light novels as well. Whenever it's released, I'm gonna buy it. So the same here. Which brings me on to another new series that's just getting a physical release. And that is Records of Ragnarok. I found this series not by the horrendous anime on Netflix, but by the April Fool's joke on the One Punch Man Reddit. And then I've just stuck with it ever since. And now we're getting a physical release. I want that shit. So I'm getting that as well, whenever it's released. Then you have Death Note Short Stories. It is a book that comes out in May, June, I don't know, something like that. It's just all the side stories that was created after the end of Death Note. I've read them, they are great, they're awesome, but it's getting collected into one single volume. And of course I want that because I want to complete or recomplete, I guess, my Death Note collection. So yeah. I'm getting that whenever it's released. And then we only have two more series. These are not a guarantee. These I'm just, if I'm missing stuff, I'm gonna get it. 
We're talking about Golden Camry. I've only heard great things about Golden Camry. And I mean, I need to actually collect that series soon. Golden Camry it is. And also Platinum Ends, but that's mostly because I'm a fan of Death Note. And I also like all you need is kill the art style in there. So might as well try Platinum End. It just finished, about to finish with the 14th volume, I think. And that is my <laughs> over ambiguous list for this year. And of course, I mean, you could barely fit everything on there. Maybe I should create it in two parts. So here's part one, right? And here's part two. Maybe, who knows? I don't think I will be able to collect everything there 100%. I mean, I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. It's, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. But if I at least can manage to get everything that I'm missing from my 2021 list on there, it shouldn't be that difficult. I mean, it is Villain Saga 12. It is the last three volumes of Blame. It is Jaco. It is Inuyashiki. Inuyashiki might be tricky. And it is Fire Punch then that will be Hungry Dory. But everything else, bleh, I don't know, I don't know. It's gonna be expensive, probably, sure, it will. Yeah, I think that is it. That is my manga wants list, wish list for 2022. What is your manga wish list for 2022? I'm curious. I mean, maybe you want the same thing. Maybe you want something different that could inspire me. I'm not guaranteeing it's gonna get up on the list because it's cramped as it is right now. And again, I'm just gunning for 10 volumes on the bigger series just to start at least. But whatever your list looks like and whatever thoughts you have on my list and if it's missing something crucial that like some new release is gonna get released this year, I don't know, it might. Like Akira's Theater, Akira Toyama's Theater is, that was last year actually, so that's not this year, but this. something like that, then of course, Write it down in the description, not description, in the comments down below. And if you like what you see here, you might want to click the subscribe button. You also might want to not do it. I mean, it's up to you. It's a free country, at least where I live. Where you live, I'm not sure. But anywho, whatever you think and whatever wish list you have, come and bring your thoughts. And as always, until I see you in the next video, remember to stay awesome. See ya. This is going to be an expensive